Hi, it's Jerry with I Love RV Life. I have Jamie Kate with me today, our granddaughter. We're going to be having fun today here at the bike park here in middle Georgia. This is something new to us. This is the Hovsko Ranger. I'm looking forward to this. Jamie's going to be on our Hovsko Hov Beta. This is going to be fun, isn't it, Jamie Kate? Yes, sir. It's going to be so much fun. Hi, this is Jerry, and we are at Amerson River Park. This is in middle Georgia. I have my granddaughter, Jamie Catherine, with us. We love her. We call her Jamie Kate. And uh, we're going to be riding e-bikes. I want to show you a new e-bike that we have just received. We've gotten a lot of chatter on our uh, I Love RV Life uh, YouTube channel going, we really like the foldable bikes, but we'd like to have a full-size adult bike. So I contacted Hovsco and just said, hey, we've used your bikes in the past. We'd like to try one of the larger size bikes. This is what they sent me. This is the Hovsco Ranger. This is a full-size bike. It is a 27 and a half inch bike. You'll see they make this frame in two different styles on off-road, and this is what they call the cruiser style. I don't have fenders or a luggage rack on it like I have over here on the Beta. Uh, they were back ordered. They're going to be sending those to us. I'll put those on and give you an update video of that later on. But I really like this from a full size, what I call an adult size bicycle. It's pretty light. It only weighs 55 pounds, all aluminum frame. 300 pound load capacity, which really is a lot for an adult. And then when they talk about uh, who can fit on one of these, this is, they say, you know, the, this is really sized for someone who is, you know, 5.1 inches to 6.7. Uh, I'm going to let Jamie Kate ride this some. We're both going to be kind of swapping it back and forth. And it fits her just fine. She's not going to have any problem with it as well. Again, 27 and a half inch tires. I like these tires. It's not the real skinny ones, but this is good for the beach and, you know, the trails that we'll be doing today as well. One of the things I also like about it is this Hovsco motor and their controller. Uh, you'll ride so many of these e-bikes that they will continue to run when you stop pedaling for a second and a half to two seconds, not with the Hovsco. When you stop pedaling, it stops. 500 watt motor, 970 watt peak, big battery on it. Gives you anywhere from 40 to 60 miles, depending on your riding, your terrain, the style of riding you do. And uh, the motor, again, will go up to 900 watts. It really will scoot. Um, I really like this bike. It's, it charges quick. If you completely kill it, it'll charge back in seven hours. Uh, Seven-speed derailleur that you see here, very, very smooth. Um, it has hydraulic disc brakes on it. And uh, boy, they'll stop you too. And uh, it, it's easy to assemble. Took me about an hour to put it together. Speeds they estimate ride at about 28 miles per hour. We're not going to be doing that today, Jamie. No, sir, we won't. We're just going to be cruising, aren't we? Yes, sir. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We are, this, these trails here are beautiful. Um, it is, believe it or not, this is winter in middle Georgia. It's going to be 68 to 70 degrees. One of those rare late winter spring-like days. <laughs> no snow. No snow. <laughs> so we're going to kind of tool around a little bit. Jamie and I are going to swap the bikes a little bit. I'll show you some video with her on it. So uh, let's go have some fun. Let's have some fun. Off we go. One of the fun things about coming to this park, there's always activities here for the kids. I don't know what they got going on today. They had fire trucks and everything else. Lots and lots of fun. And they have all kinds of little gardens and just neat areas along these paths. I've got a mixture of both paved and and some gravel down here. I don't know if we're going to do gravel today. It's been kind of wet and muddy. We'll just see how things go. But uh, you see a mixture of both, you know, bike riders and uh, walkers, and everybody's real courteous to each other. It's a great place to come. Opens up early in the morning, closes at six at night. It's free. Don't cost anything. And it, you'll see here on the bike that I have here uh, as I. I have a lot of different selections. It's going to be a little difficult to see this while I drive, but right here with a thumb control, I have pedal assist from one to five so I can move it up or down. It has um, miles per hour. You can set up the odometer, lots of things. <laughs> we, have got, we have got hot rodders all over the place. 
We're going to pull off at a little spot here. Just really, we won't go too far down by the river. It's a little high today. We've had a lot of rain, but they've got these little pullouts all over the place. Just, just, just so pretty. Uh, some folks are over there having them a picnic lunch under that cover over there. And they say no motorized vehicles, but they've never said anything to us about going on an e-bike. So they had this roped off. Uh, I will mention, if you come here in the hot summer, they do give you an alligator and snake issue. Uh, I know of no alligators that I've seen, but you might see a snake or two. And uh, because of all the rain, it's been just, ooh, muddy, muddy, muddy. Jamie, y'all tube here sometimes with, with mom and dad and all, don't you? Yes, sir. Tubing, we have so much fun. I've always been a little bit scared of snakes, but I've never seen one. <laughs> never seen the snakes. And How about an alligator? I've never seen an alligator. That'd Me be neither. kind of cool, though. Yeah. <laughs> Not on a tube. Not on a tube. So we'll go by the tubing area up here. Um, they've, they've got a, a big, well-defined area where you just pull up, drop your tubes off, and float. And I think they've, they've actually got a service. They'll pick you up and drop you off, those types of things. They also have like a rope bar and a sand, or a rope swing and a sandbar. Oh, uh, really? We have fun there. Sometimes we just stop. So you can see here, it's a bit washed out. This is kind of sandy. We did have some serious flooding down here. All this was underwater. You can kind of look over there and see the sandbars. That's not normally there just because, I mean, the river was like twice as high, three times as high as this. Well, that big rain that came through not long ago. But even with that, I mean, it's beautiful, beautiful here in the spring and the summer and the early fall with the leaves changing and, and even on a good winter ride. If you want to call this a winter ride, it's still not too bad. <laughs> this is this is hard to call it a winter ride, isn't it, Jamie Kate? It's hard. It feels like spring almost. I know it does. It really does. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's head on back up the steps here and see what else we can see. Let's do it. All right. Jamie is on the Ranger. What do you think, kiddo? It's fun. It rides very smooth. It is smooth, isn't it? So smooth. What uh, difference-wise with the stride having the longer legs? It's it's really comfortable, isn't it? It's so comfortable. I like this one a little bit more than the other one, but I like them both. You like this better? No, I like this one better. Do you? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> New is always better. <laughs> All right, let's go down here and see what's at the end down here. Yes, sir. and mom and dad this is where y'all came and did your tubing wasn't it yes sir we even came with my uncle joel oh and uncle joel came mm -hmm. too okay you've yeah, seen we uncle always jo tube down here you've seen joel on the channel um they've got it closed off today they're saying that there's uh, some bad rip currents down through here the river is pretty high although we're seeing some folks down here kayaking so they're out doing the doing the wild ride today but plenty of parking when you come down here picnic tables and uh, it's, it's neat, but boy, that river was high. You can see where it was at. All right, we're gonna ride a little bit more. Jamie, you wanna stay on that one? I think I'll stay on this uh, one now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew that was coming. The train's coming through, but I think that I can talk over it, just show you some of the other, the little cool places here along the river that you can, you can watch. The train's loud, isn't it, Jamie? The trains are very loud. But you have all these little pull-through areas here that you can enjoy. And uh, here we'll ride through them. Nobody's in them. But just views of the river, just little walk-throughs, just so neat. And you can just kind of stop and take in everything. Isn't it pretty? Head down this way, there's some more cool things to see here in Amerson Park today. Plenty of parking. What do you think, Jamie? I'm loving it. I feel like I'm on the Titanic when I stand up. <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing cruising speeds today, so you haven't even gone fast yet, have you? Not yet. I can't wait to go fast. <laughs> <laughs> there's a straightaway down here in a little bit. We'll kind of, we'll, we'll let them go a little bit. Yes, sir. It is just a pretty, pretty day to ride today. Now we can tell there's been a little bit of flooding down here, but it doesn't last long. That's a good thing about when it happens. And it's, this area is kind of built for it, so they knew it was going to happen. 
so it doesn't damage anything just makes it a little sandy and a rain or two and it's cleaned up this is what the bike well you can call these bike trails walking trails jogging trails they did a 5k down here a couple weeks ago uh, here in the in the park you can also call them dog walking trails and they have dogs yeah, they do. it is very dog friendly isn't it jamie it is it's very pet friendly i well, mean dogs are pretty much the only pet you're going to bring down here but i see dogs walking all the time yeah, I forget about that. We've seen a lot of puppies down here today, yeah, too. Lots dogs of people. Dogs are so cute. We always ask if the dogs are enjoying walking their human. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it goes fast. Ooh. This is what they call the pavilion. I think you can actually rent these. You'd have to check with the park. But we've seen events here. We've seen weddings that have been here. And uh, you can imagine a wedding would be pretty. A nice spring or fall wedding here would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? All the trees and the flowers in bloom. Pretty neat. What's your thoughts of it? What, what do you like most about the, this Hovsko Ranger? I think I like how smooth it is. It's such a smooth ride and it goes so fast when you want it to, obviously, but it's such a smooth ride, whether you're going over rocky terrain, it, it keeps you it keeps you feeling safe. Kind of feeling grounded that kind of way. Yes. And then one of the other things too we didn't talk about is this has a shock absorber front end. So when you were hitting those bumps, it really absorbs that well, it doesn't did. it? Usually like it kind of hurts a little bit when you hit bumps, but this didn't hurt that bad. Not it with that at all. Huh? I could ride this for hours. Right, I <laughs> know it is. It's, it's really a nice bike. All the features, again, easy to use controls. Um, you've kept this pretty much on five today, the little Shimano. What do you think about the brakes? They'll really stop you, the won't they? The brakes will stop, yes. The brakes, especially when you're going fast and you see someone you don't want to run into them, the brakes are... Work. Yeah, it really behaves well. And then I will see these LEDs again. Don't this is not a fault of these LEDs. I cannot change the way that this um, GoPro works. I can't change the scan rate, but um, you can see I'll take a picture of this and insert it here. And you can see that you've got, you know, what your um, assist is, your battery reading. We've been riding this thing. Well, you can see a little over three hours on this trip. And uh, we haven't even put a dent in the uh, in the battery as of yet. Really looks great. Let's uh, let me just kind of give you a view of this little area over here. It is pretty cool. For the adventurer, no jumping or diving <laughs> for those who really wanted to do it for a number of reasons. It is rocky, and this level changes now. Right now, you can, the, the video probably doesn't show, but you'll notice the difference in the color of the river. And, and that's the, 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 what they call the rip tide in, in LA. And it is, I mean, if you were out there in a canoe or a tube or a, something like that, you would be ripping down this river. You would be flying. You would be flying. And this area didn't flood. Um, it really has to get bad. I'll kind of show you this over here. If you notice right Right down there, you might be able to barely make out a little orange and red marker. That's 18 feet. Uh, they say flood stage here is 20. But uh, if it ever gets to this point here of 31.7 feet, well, we're all in trouble. <laughs> it's pretty bad at that stage. And again, it, the, the river's not usually this muddy looking. It's just because we've had so much rain. But it is pretty. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Even with the rain, it's pretty. Even with the muddy, it's pretty. You see someone lost their fishing line in the oh, tree. Somebody's been fishing up here, lost their bobber. But just a nice area to ride these Hovsko bikes. They are fun. They are fun. It feels so good outside just riding these bikes. I know it does. And it's winter. It's winter. <laughs> it's winter exactly. in middle Georgia. <laughs> hey, look, some of us just have to do it, right? We're getting kind of to the end of our ride today. It's been a good ride, hasn't it, Jamie? It has. It's been 
Great, feel good. Now you'll see lots of stuff going over here. They've got the grills going. I bet these, I bet these are birthday parties or something. The Hosco bikes have been fun today, haven't they? So much fun. And, and the Ranger is really, really a nice bike. If you want one that is adult size, 5'1", did they say 6'7", very adjustable, very comfortable, wasn't it? Very comfortable. Yeah, the stride, your reach, all those types of things, the ease of the control, lots and lots of fun. So thank you, Hosco, for sending us this bike. We were looking for a non-foldable adult size bike. Love the controller on these. It, it just responds very, very well. It's one of my favorites of all the e-bikes that we've tried so far. So I hope you get a chance to try one of these. If you're interested in them, I've got links in the description of the YouTube channel today. I've also got I Love RV Life. I've got a blog on this today with all the features and functions that uh, this bike has and kind of help you if you're making a decision to get a bike like this. I'll have links and codes in it as well that uh, you can use. So thank you so much Hosco for providing this bike. We really do appreciate it and we do it for one reason, don't we Jamie? Mm -hmm. It's because I love RV life. I love RV life. Mm -hmm.